Hey everybody, what is going on? It's your boys today. Are you going back to another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee? Psst! Hey! It's me. I've got a quick public service announcement before we get into today's video. Hit subscribe down below to be the first to find out when I upload a new video every day. This is the best way to do it without having to constantly be checking my channel, hoping, praying for a video to come up. Anyway, that was your quick public service announcement. Let's get into today's episode. Last time, we beat the Fuchsia City Gym. Got ourselves a new secret technique, as well as some lab clothing. Now, this time, you're probably noticing we're not in Fuchsia City right now. We're actually over by the rock tunnel to start this episode off, and you're probably wondering, why? Well, firstly, I want to catch myself a Nidoran. Kind of a big thing, because we actually haven't got one of these female Nidoran. We only have the Nidorinos. Now, obviously I need to catch one of these. So we have our Pokedex complete. And you're going to be a nightmare to catch, aren't you? There we go, we'll get a nice throw. But uh, yeah, we need to catch a few Pokemon, and one of which in today's episode we're catching is our sixth and final teammate for this adventure. Now, as I sit here and prepare for that... Oh, I've apparently already caught an arena female. Oh well. Actually, I need to remove it from my party before we advance any further. We can actually use the secret technique now to kind of show to you what it is. So firstly, we get out here onto the water and we ride this surfboard. That's essentially it. Now, as you can see, this water is pretty standard and yeah, we're out here chilling. Now this waterway is home to a certain Pokemon that is very, very rare. No, it's not this Magikarp, and we technically already have a Magikarp, so I don't know why I tried to interact with it. We have a certain Pokemon here that I really, really want. And you're probably wondering, what is it? Well, it's not that. Actually gonna pop a lure. Not a normal lure. We have got these max lures, we might as well use them and just see if it'll appear. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be extremely sad. Because obviously, it's very hard to find certain Pokemon that we need. There it is. It just spawned just like that. That's actually a really quick spawn. It's a Dratini. We are catching the dragon type Pokemon itself, Dratini, for our team. And normally, I would say this is a very good capture. So we get a nice throw, it's a yellow circle, we've got the Ultra Ball, will it be a instant capture? No it won't. We don't get a nice throw there, even though it was in the circle. Okay. We get a great throw this time. Maybe that'll be enough to capture this Dratini. And it is! So we've now got our sixth and final team member here for our adventure. And this is huge. It means so much to me that we finally got a Dratini. That we can actually go training up to face the next gym. Oh, Tentacruel, we'll capture you. Need you for the Pokedex. Oh. There we go, we'll get it in the circle. Not a nice throw though. But hey, uh, we'll catch it and add it to the Pokedex. So, why is it thrown like that? I need to throw it this way. There we go. Because my the way I'm playing this is I'm playing off my PC. The Switch itself is actually over here. And as such, it's kind of hard for me to kind of throw the ball normally. Anyway, our team is getting XP. We're catching new Pokemon in this episode already. This is actually a very good episode so far. 
Now, I'm going to go up here and I'm presuming you battle me. The... Wow, you came all the way here? Maybe you're a Pokemaniac too. Want us to see my collection? Indeed I do. I want to see what Pokemon you are cooking in your... Looking. Don't know what I said there, but Pokemaniac Mark sent out a Rhyhorn. As his lead, we have Eevee as ours. Now, Eevee obviously does not have Double Kick anymore. Instead, has got Sparkly Swirl. We'll use the Baddy Pad just to set up the Physical Shield to protect ourselves from Rhyhorn's damage. And it is level 42 to Physical Protection to Drill Run. Gonna be huge. There we go. Just look how minimalistic the damage is. Baddy Bad once again. Just eliminates the health of the Rhyhorn. There we go. Battle beaten. Actually, it's not, but Pokemon beaten. Licky Tongue is the next Pokemon. A normal type. We don't have any normal moves, and you're probably noticing Dratini's level is 24. Yeah, you're probably also gonna know. I haven't beaten one route on this game yet, in terms of where we actually can go to. And we'll be doing that this episode as well, before we go to Saffron City and challenge the gym there. Now, as I say this, we're also by a big kind of building to the left of us here. Maybe we should check that out in this episode too, and see what is inside. I think that'll be actually very interesting to do. So we beat this trainer here, the Pokemaniac. Charizard levels up from it as well. So does Ninetales, that's actually cool. Ninetales is slowly creeping up to Eevee's level. Which is kind of worrying. Now we'll come in here, we'll grab this Pokeball which contains a Thunderstone. And what is this building? I didn't mean to click on that. A power plant, okay. Let's go into the power plant. Let's see what's here. And it looks abandoned as coffins. We need one of these for our Pokedex so we might as well catch it. Get a great throw. Add this coughing to our Pokedex, hopefully. And wow, it got out the ball. Okay. Now, when I first played Pokemon, let's go Eevee Pikachu. The first time I interacted with the coughing Pokemon line was when I caught myself the shiny wheezing, and. That was in a place we're not even at yet. So this coughing is actually causing me a lot of pain. There we go. Pain over. And it's added to our Pokedex. Team is just slowly but surely getting stronger. With the addition of Dratini as well. It's going to be interesting to see how we do. Anyway, Voltorb's roaming around here. Need to capture one of these, obviously, for our Pokedex. Gonna get a nice throw. Just slicing through my house with that throw as well. It was just a... Wah. I threw it straight. Get another one of them slicing throws for ourselves. And this time the slice was good enough to catch this Voltorb. Add it to our Pokedex. And yeah, Venusaur levels up as well. Growth? That's such a weak move for level 44. Voltorb gets added to the Pokedex just then. And this another next Voltorb's just rolling around the floor. We'll, we'll avoid it for now. We don't need to catch another. We'll get this Max Revive, which is another reason why you come into this place. There's a coach trainer here as well. We'll interact with you. Abandoned Power Plant is the second to least desired place for a coach trainers to be assigned to. 
And no matter where I am, I'm gonna do my job. I love my job, here I come. So we've got a battle in here, and the coach trainers are actually here in the power plant. And this train is very interesting to me. Because if she explored this place, she'd find something really cool. Now she does have the fossil Pokemon Omastar as her first Pokemon. Omastar being a Pokemon we haven't actually interacted with at all in this series just yet. And we could be interacting with it soon. I'm planning on doing something with it. Bye. Eevee can just kill this with a Blizzy Buzz. And there we go. Down goes Omastar. Beaten to a crit. Eevee's just popping off in this series so far. In fact, the past two episodes, Eevee's just been very strong. Aerodactyl. I'm going to switch because Eevee can't deal with that realistically too well. I mean, yes, it can use uh, its psychic move, but I've got a better Pokemon in Blastoise built for destroying flying types. Even Ninetales would be good here. But I want to give Blastoise some screen time. Use Scold. Just go through the Aerodactyl's health bar like it's going through my Blastoise. Now luckily it doesn't flinch us and the skull chunks it below half HP. We should win this turn if we're not hit it by flinch. We aren't so we're gonna get the kill here. And also it's quite interesting that they change the animation for skull depending on if the Pokemon is higher than your Pokemon. Like they angle it upwards. Kabutops will switch over to no, I don't want to go into you. I want to go into Venusaur. Venusaur should have a bit of fun here because Kabutops, I think, is double typed. Quad weakness to grass. So, Pedal Dance should do a lot of work for us. Also, these Pokemon are level 44. That's an even bigger thing to note. As they're basically the same level as most of Koga's team. <laughs> And yeah, we beat the coach trainer, both you and I did a great job, 4.5k given to us, and if I did a great job for you, I'm more than happy, here's a little something extra too, 5 rare candies, makes this even more worthwhile, I've got to admit, rare candies really get the job done, indeed they do, they help me as well as they help everyone else. But there's a lot of items here that we need to get out of. One of which is this XP. Special XP defense. There's also these Magnemites roaming around. We need to catch one of these. There we go. My throw went like that. It went over to the side. So, hey ho. One catch this Magnemite. Throw it high. Not in the circle though. So there's that. And yeah. That throw was worse than the other. I thought it would capture. I was going to say it's. Wow, Magnemite ran away. That's fine. I'll catch the one next to you. It's very tiny. What? It bounced off of its thing, off of the magnets at the side of its uh, body, which is kind of funny. There we go, we got it in a circle this time, but no nice capture. Oh, I thought I would capture it. I dodged. That was just a poor throw. That's just a poor throw. There we go, we got it flush on the eye. Well, I thought it was gonna run then, but we actually managed to throw the last Ultra Ball maybe at it. I 
yeeted that one over its head. We got a nice throw. Maybe it's nice enough to actually capture it, you know? Oh wow, these Magnemites are being an absolute pain. Oh, that should have been an excellent throw there. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh well. <laughs> we catch it. Add Magnemite to our party. And there we go. Two level ups across the board as well. Blastoise and Dratini. Getting up in levels. The Magnemite gets added to our Pokedex and tucked away in our bag. Oh, Magneton. I might as well capture one of these, save me having to evolve that Magnemite. And yeah, this is basically the place you go to. Wow. I need that one. There we go, we got a nice hoe. But uh, basically, this is a good place to go to to catch some Pokemon you haven't seen yet. I yeeted that one as well. Kind of missed through that as well. Tried to go for the excellent. Because probably need the excellent in order to capture this one. We'll get a nice that may be nice enough to get it. Maybe, please. Please. Oh, boo. And it ran away. Okay. Fair enough. I, I guess I'm just that bad of a trainer that you don't want to go with me. Rare candy, that's six in this place already. I've actually got seven in the bag, and I know what Eevee wants me to shake it. I'm just choosing not to. Electro, that big boy just spawned in. I need to catch you as well. Hey, big rolling ball of doom. I didn't throw it there. That's a better throw. One. Two. Two. Only two. Oh, that almost was an excellent throw. One, two. I was going to say, Pokeballs are better than uh, Ultra Balls here. One, two, three. Oh, I'm, I'm getting so unlucky. Yeah, I am just using my uh, ninja skills to throw it out wide like a shuriken, like a... I was kind of hoping for the excellent throw there. And alas, it's not. But it is enough to capture it, so we'll take it. And there we go, Electrode added in to our Pokedex. In fact, I think we've only interacted with Electrode once in this game. And it's actually the second time we've seen it. I'm also going to shake and get the Eevee thing, and I just saw an Electro Buzz spawn. Eevee feels the tension in the air, and it seems a little afraid. No worries, Eevee. There's just Electro Buzzes, Coughings, Voltorbs, Electros, Magnemite, and Magnetones that we've seen so far here. Nothing else to be worried about. Why is it going so far? Why is it going way too far? There we go, we'll get the great throw. One, two, three, ah. A nice throw to the side. One, two, three. Click, boom, easy. We caught an Electro Buzz. That gets added straight to our Pokedex. And that's a lot of XP. Eevee almost getting level 50 right now. We could actually technically even out our levels between Pokemon, i.e. we can get our Venusaur up into level 50 mark itself. I do not want to lure, lure up this place as a Weezing. Hello, Weezing. This is probably the best place to get the big boys in this actual uh, building is this little area that we're currently stuck in. Because so far, Magnetone... Weezing, Electrode, all spawn in this place, like this section of the power plant. And I like this because it just gives me more and more chance to catch these rare Pokemon. 
I yeeted that throw. Great throw this time. Will it be great enough to capture it? No. <laughs> well, that was a poor throw. That was an even poorer throw. That would have been a good throw if it was a uh, bang on in the center. And not over the top of the Weezing's head. I didn't even get it. Give it a chance to go down the circle. This time we gave it a chance and it's a great throw. Great enough? Who knows? Maybe. No. Weezing is gonna run away on us. Oh well. Maybe now we can advance forward in this place. No, Magnetone. Do not. Magnemite, sorry. Do not want to give us that chance. I almost misnamed the Magnemite there to its evolve form. Just be glad I didn't call it Magnazone. And to say anything about Gen 4, because as everyone knows, Gen 4 is my favourite generation of Pokemon. That is not a Pokeball. That is probably an Electrode. Let's not interact with it. Because we already have one. Kappa. Coughing. We'll go in this little room here because there was an item over here. Well, there should be a couple of items here. Got a Thunderstone. Let's go get the other item in that corner. Another coughing spawning. And a Max Potion. That's actually good. Any other Pokemon going to spawn on the coughing? Another coughing. Okay. Any other Pokemon going to spawn up here? An Electrobuzz. Fair enough. Now this room's going haywire. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Grab this Paralysis Heal. And I recommend... Saving right about now. Why? Who knows why. Ta-da! There's a legendary bird here! And ladies and gentlemen, this is how this episode is going to conclude. Is this battle with Zapdos? The shock of Zapdos being here is sending Eevee and me into a stream of upset. And it wasn't a long ago till since we were actually battling Galarian. Zapdos and this big Pokemon is going to be very powerful we're going to need to Glitzy Glow if we can but obviously it is very powerful level 50 and as such we're going to need to be at the top of our time because as you can see in the top left corner there's a timer yeah we're going to need to work quick and effectively so we're going to Toxic Stall the Everlasting hell out of this uh, Pokemon as Venusaur toughed out this battle. Going to put the poison down and allow me to Toxic Stall you because I have tons of revives. Yeah, this is happening. Uh, Well, there's not much I can do right now. I'm going to try and lead Seed you as well. Uh, I was hoping that it would miss. Oh, oh! Venusaur coming in clutch, the double one HP savior. Just means that this stall is going to be even more painful for this Zapdos. In fact, I'm actually tempted to heal up my Eevee right now. In fact, I am. I'm healing up Eevee because I've got the opportunity to do so. I might as well. Get Eevee back in the game so we can actually stall you out. Now, oh! Three! Three. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is exceptional work from Venusaur. And the toxic damage is just doing work. I might just go for a pedal dance. Please don't make it. Aww. If it was four turns of red, I would have been 
I'm, I was gone. Okay. Timer continues to take down, but Zapdos's health bar is ticking down even more. Uh, we'll send in Nine Tails here. Because I'm intrigued to see what moves it has to deal with Nine Tails. Plus, Nine Tails might give it a challenge for its speed. We've also got Ice Beam on deck. Zapdos is quicker. Does it have the ability to Oko us? It doesn't. I was going to say, did Ninetales just do the uh, Venusaur of living on 1 HP thanks to friendship? Instead, it's just going to live on 1 HP because it's just that good. Anyway, I'm going to switch to Great Balls. I'm also going to get out my bag a couple of good items. We do have this Golden Pinup Berry, which would be nice. I'm also going to use the Silver Nana Berry because that'll freeze it in place. We'll not get the excellent throw just off by a second. And yeah, you can start to see Zapdos is a mean mother trucker. I'll yeet that ball. That one was nowhere near close to the excellent. We got one shake. We got two shakes. Nope, not enough to catch this Zapdos. Oh, it dodged to the side. We're yeeting balls now. We'll get a nice throw this time, though. This is the best throw so far. And it only amounts to one shake. Wow, it's going ham here, this Zapdos. It does not want to be captured. There's an excellent throw. Maybe that's enough to capture it. No, it's only getting the one shake. I'll yeet a ball. We'll get it in the ball this time. One shake, two shakes. Oh, two shakes, that's the best so far. Wow, Zapdos is a nightmare to capture. That was barely not an excellent capture. And Zapdos gets held the ball yet again. Yeah, you can see Zapdos is a nightmare to catch her because it just moves so much. There we go, we'll get a nice throw to the side this time. One shake, two shakes, two shakes. This Zapdos is a pain. We'll actually get it in the ball this time. Yeah. I don't know if Zapdos actually runs away or not if we fail this, but hey ho. Two shakes. Two shakes. I'm just throwing these way too far. I didn't throw that one. I threw that one. We'll get a nice throw. That's at least good. One, two. Oh, I thought I was going to have to say three for the first time. Why are these throws so poor? We'll get it in the ball. One shake, two shakes, three shakes, and caught. There we go. We caught Zapdos, ladies and gentlemen. And, spoiler alert, we're not using it. We just caught it for the lols. And MVP of that battle was Venusaur, hands down. The triple survive on one HP just took the biscuit in terms of killing Zapdos. And yeah, we'll give Eevee a little shake to wake it up. Eevee is looking at the Pokeball you used with some excitement. Nice. Anyway, let's use this teleporter, get the hell out of here, and yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new here if you want to, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.